morning time, no talk. I'm sorry for this angle. I am sitting in bumper traffic. So I figured right now would be a good time to talk to the vlog. So today is Tuesday, April 27th. It's also Austin's birthday. So I'm excited to get home from school today and celebrate him. But we have about, I think 32 days left in this school year, which is just insane that it went by so fast and I feel like I have just learned so much and I can't wait to make so many videos over like all the stuff that I've learned. I just wanted to say good morning, welcome back to the vlogs. I'm so excited to be filming again and I will catch up with you guys whenever I get to school. Here's a quick little OOTD for today. So my shirt is from Amazon, Miss Frizzle. Love it so much. Just wearing some jeans and then some fake Birkenstocks. So I guess you could say it's a pretty chill day. So we have our unit nine test tomorrow, our last test of the semester. So today is just a big review day. I'm doing a quizzes with the kids and then we're gonna do a couple other review activities to really get them prepared for their test tomorrow. So today should be a fun day, hopefully, <laughs> getting to do the review, but um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> about to ring my fourth period kids are about to come in these are my advanced level kids and we are doing the review for the test tomorrow they usually have a lot of fun with this i put them in teams and they like work against each other to um, earn some candy the winning team gets the candy so i think they're gonna have fun with it today and yeah so far it's been a pretty good day i do have a little bit of a headache but I think that's just my allergies. It is about 3.15, I just got in my car. Um, it's the end of the school day, obviously. Today was a really good day. I'm really proud of my students. They did really well on the review. So I'm hoping that that means that they're gonna do really good on the test tomorrow, but we shall see. My seventh period really made my day today because I was just kind of bragging on them. I told them that their current average for the class is 10 points higher. I had to change the angle because there are people walking all around me and I feel very uncomfy talking to myself in my car and I just don't want them to be in the video, but like I was saying, I was really bragging on my seventh period today because their grade average, the entire class average is 10 points higher than it was last nine weeks. And I just feel like that is a very big difference and I can see a difference in them and their attitudes and um, that they're trying a lot harder. So I just like told them that their average was 10 points higher and I was like, just keep doing what you guys are doing. You're doing a great job. And then a few of them were like, you keep doing what you're doing. You're the reason that we have the grades that we do and the reason that we're learning all the stuff that we are. And I was just like, warmed my heart so much because it just shows that most of them appreciate what you're doing. And um, it really goes a long way. And it means a lot whenever they actually tell you that. So um, yeah, end of the day on a good note, but I'm gonna drive home now. I have about an hour drive just to get back home. Um, and today is Austin's birthday, like I said, so we're gonna go to dinner. Today is unfortunately a test day, so it's gonna be a pretty boring day because the kids will just be on their Chromebooks taking their tests for most of the class period. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated in case anything exciting happens. But I wanted to show you the meme that I put on the agenda for today because I think it's really funny. <laughs> I love putting memes on the agendas. So far, nothing too exciting has been happening today. Fourth period is about to start and these are my advanced kids so they'll probably get done with the test pretty quickly and then I normally just let them kind of hang out after the test since they've been using their brain a lot so I promise tomorrow will be a lot more fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's the end of the school day now. Today was a very boring day. I do not like test days because I just have to sit and stare at them for majority of the day. And they don't like test day either because it's boring for them. But I figured the most exciting thing that I could show you is an OOTD. So um, I'm wearing this t-shirt from Etsy. It just says, I became a teacher for the money and the fame, which is a joke, obviously. And then this like, denim-ish shirt. I don't know. Found it at Goodwill. Thought it was cute. And then I'm wearing some black jeans and the same sandals from yesterday. Because my outfits don't really, because my outfits aren't very, um, groundbreaking, <laughs> if you will. I promise my days are typically more exciting than this. Tomorrow we start our star review. So like I said, Texas has the standardized testing and biology is a standardized tested subject. And we have five days until that test. So we're gonna spend the next four school days kind of doing a crash course on some of the most important teaks um, to get our kiddos ready for the star test because they take the, they take the algebra one the day before they take the star. So we don't even get to see them really the day before they take our test because they'll be testing for another subject. So this will be the first like star boot camp that I go through since it's my first year teaching. It'll be my first year having star scores on my name. So it's a little intimidating, especially since I wasn't here the first semester. So I don't know how things went the first semester, but I am hopeful. I have faith in my kids. I have some really, really good kids and I know that they're gonna try their best. So that's all that I can ask for. I'm doing my best. That's all that I can ask for of myself. So um, I have faith. Everything is gonna work out. And I don't think that's naive. I think that is just um, speaking good vibes into the world. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the speaking good vibes into the world. <laughs> So today is day one of star review. We have four days to review for the biology star. And um, my coworkers and my team put together this biology star review packet. It has all the different categories that are tested on star and I can statements. And we have a lot of fun activities for them to do in this notebook. And then we also have some activities that they're gonna be doing to like get them up out of their seat and stuff so they're not just working in a notebook all the time because that could be pretty boring but this does have some really valuable stuff in it for them um to be able to study for the star and i just really like the i can the mastery statement so they can see where they might fall and um, what they can do to be at a master level i'm hopeful that today is going to be a good day since it is the start of the star review i'm just going to really try to encourage my kids and tell them that they are not a test they are much more than that. They are great humans and great students despite this standardized test that they have to take. So um, yeah, happy Thursday. So it is after school now. I don't get to talk to you guys much throughout the day because I have second and third off. And then I have lunch and then I have classes for the rest of the day. So I can really only update you in second and third period. And I feel like I've done that enough this week so far. So apologies for not talking to you until now, but like I said, it's the end of the school day. And I wanted to show you what we did for the first day of star review today. So I showed you earlier that we have these star packets. And so on page one, we did it together. We reviewed the biomolecules. So we did this fun cutout. We worked together to figure out where everything went. And then they filled in all of this stuff about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. And then we did this together. It looks like a lot of reading. Um, my advanced kids enjoyed reading it because they got to learn all about the cell cycle again. But with my on-level kids, we filled this out together and colored it in together and stuff and watched some videos over how the whole process works. Cause if we're being honest, a lot of these kids know it and are gonna do great on it. And a lot of these kids need a little bit of a refresher. But today was a good day. I kind of feel like Star Review is like just a big crash course of biology. So the next three days are going to be hitting some more important topics for the star test and trying to get them prepared. And I'm trying my best to tell every single class period and all of my students that they are more than just the score that they get on the star test. All that they can ask of themselves, all that I can ask of them is for them to try their best and give it their all and just use the resources that were given to them and just try their best because I'm trying my best. I wasn't here the first semester, so I'm trying my best to <laughs> catch them up on all the stuff that they learned the first semester. I just feel like standardized testing is such a 
hard thing on the teachers and the students and it just makes things feel very tense and I don't want them to feel stressed out. So um, I'm just trying to tell them that it's a big deal but it's not that big of a deal and I don't want them to feel like it's such a big deal and this is what they worked for all year so <sighs> yeah. I just changed my countdown. We have four school days left until star. And tomorrow we are watching this movie that breaks down literally everything, all of the teaks, all of the stuff that we are supposed to teach our kids in Texas for biology. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. They're gonna answer some questions that go with the video and I think it'll be a nice Friday activity because their brains are probably just tired <laughs> from the whole week. And it'll be nice to be able to watch a video, so. It's about 3.15, I'm gonna pack up all of my stuff and head home but I wanted to show y'all another OOTD. If you can't tell, I work at a very casual school. We all we have like a dress code that we have to follow, but it's just like wear a college shirt on this day or wear a black shirt this day. It's not very, um, like it doesn't have to be business casual or anything right now. So um, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Baylor t-shirt because today is college day. I'm wearing some jeans my Hufflepuff lanyard, and then my shoes are my Miss Frizzle shoes. I love them so much. They look like a bunch of science things on them, so. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm wearing today, so. I'm gonna go home now. Hello, you guys. Happy Friday. Unfortunately, it's a very, very rainy Friday. I think we're under a flash flood warning, so we love that. But today, my kiddos are watching the video. It's called Beyond the Elements. This is really good for Star Review because it reviews everything that they've learned this year. So it's kind of refreshing their memory on all the stuff that they've already learned. So yeah, I'm about to start with fourth period. I was actually running a little bit late this morning. Traffic was really bad. There were a couple wrecks and the rain didn't help. So. I didn't get to talk to you this morning, but I have four classes to go, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh period, and then it is the weekend, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, you guys, it is officially the end of the week. The bell just rang, it is barely three o'clock, and I'm about to head out because I am meeting up with some teachers from my student teaching school, having dinner with them, and I'm really excited to see them. So I'm gonna try to get home really fast so that I can change and then head straight to the restaurant. I think that it was a really, really good week. My students were very receptive this week and I feel like I kind of, some weeks are really, really hard and this week wasn't. So um, I am reveling in the fact that it wasn't a hard week and it makes me really happy and I love my students. I think that the longer I get to know them, the better it is, if that makes any sense. Starting in the middle of a school year is definitely challenging to say the least, but it gets better every single day and it's so rewarding and I love my job so much. I'm also really excited to be back into doing YouTube. I promise my videos will get a little bit better. This was a little rocky coming back for my first video. I plan to do a lot more fun school related videos and also some that are like about my interviews for other schools and things that aren't necessarily teacher related, maybe more lifestyle stuff. I don't know, I'm brain brainstorming ideas for the summer and it makes me really excited. So only about 30 days left of school and then I'll be on summer break and that makes me very happy because I need a break. With all that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I would really love it if you decided to stick around. And if not, it's totally fine. I kind of get it, but I do really hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye friends.